Hello folks. Well, you know, I was pretty intrigued when I first read about the auto landing for my Nitroplane's T580 quadcopter. It's supposed to happen in the event of a radio signal loss. Well, I hesitated risking my $400 quad just to see for myself and also for those of you who asked about it. But it gnawed at my mind and I wondered and I wondered, so I decided to see for myself. Here's how I did it and here's how it works. First, on my helicopter test stand. Okay, we're flying along. I'm gonna shut the transmitter off now and see what happens. Here we go. Well, came down pretty quick. Let's see what happens outside. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Turn on the transmitter, turn on the radio, Okay, gonna get it into a hover and shut the transmitter off. Here we go. We'll start at a low altitude, like right here first. Okay. Here we go, I'm gonna shut it off right now. Well, if that's landing itself, I don't think that's going to be too good from high altitude. Well, yep, the more I think about it, I think I'm going to leave the transmitter on up there. I don't jump out of perfectly good airplanes either. <laughs> I'll try it low again, though. I'm going to shut the transmitter off. Well, it's your call if you think it would work from high up. You know, turning the transmitter on again from up high takes a little long to reset everything, so I think I'll let somebody else risk their quadcopter. Because I really like this and I hate to mess it up by screwing around. You know, what could go wrong? Besides, I think you've seen what you needed to see. I did.